happy to just uh, speak up. Uh, I mean, it was interesting to your, your reference to uh, the, the issues with the 3D uh, laser scans. I mean, as well as those proprietary issues, now this is one of these things where there's lots of layers of the raw data to all sorts of intermediate formats. Yeah, absolutely. I completely glossed over that, so. <laughs> that part. Do you try and target any particular part of that? Are you trying to get all of this? Um, well, at the moment, we're really investigating that at the moment. We, we know that this is, is equally important to have the raw data as well as a kind of intermediary step with the, the interpretation and the kind of um, normalizing the data that goes in before you get to see that kind of model. Obviously, there's more out there than just XYZ files. You can have an ASCII text file, but they're also massive. There's a new um, standard that's just been put out that's very promising called the E57 format, but that hasn't had time to sort of be taken up in the market. So that's very promising. Those file sizes are a lot smaller. But again, we're looking at you know, several, several different versions of each object. And when you're looking at projects like the Scottish 10 that are 3D laser scanning all the World Heritage sites in Scotland, along with a number of other ones around the world, more than 10 now, um, that's looking to be deposited with us. You know, the, the, the size of the data is just, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's I mean, daunting. I mean, Chair, this is something that's been used a lot globally in cultural heritage. <coughs> yeah. World Heritage sites and UNESCO are trying to scan uh, all of them. And one would have thought that there's, the momentum ought to be there to try and sort out something. Standard. Yeah, well, E57 looks like it's going to be really positive. Most of the proprietary software now um, facilitates <coughs> to into that. But it's, it's not just even these big organisations. A number of our um, commercial archaeological units in Scotland are now going out scanning our Pictish symbol stones so you can use that for conservation purposes. You know, um, measuring the levels of erosion at different points in time to see whether or not these things need to be brought in or something like that. So, yeah, it's really challenging, but that's, that's just one of the challenging things that we face. So, yeah. Um.